What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This is your girl, Lonnie Latte. Why you always discount yourself? You know, why you sit there and think that, you know, you can't be with someone that has something better going for you just because you may work at Walmart or you may um, have your own business or um, maybe you make $30,000 a year. Maybe you make $50,000 a year. Um, sometimes there's that person out there making more money or living a better lifestyle that likes you for how you are, how you look, how your personality, the drive that you have to keep going to work and make 30,000, to make 50,000, to make a hundred thousand. Um, so stop discounting yourself. You don't want to go to a meeting because you don't think you will do well. You didn't even try. You have to at least try, you know what I'm saying? Put yourself out there. You don't want to lose weight. You'd rather just be 300, 400 pounds rather than to try a new diet. If what you've been doing is not working for your body, try something else. I had to do vegetarian. My body was not breaking down meat. I had to listen to my body. I had to think outside the box. I just worked out at Planet Fitness. I'm right, literally right in front of Planet Fitness because I had to make an equip commitment because I got to a plateau. I'm like, all right, I've lost all this weight. I've lost 60 pounds, but I still have my stomach there. I still need to lose some more weight. So what do I need to do? I need to up my workout. Now that I'm eating better, now I need to up my workout. I need to work out, work out consistently every day. So what do you need to do to get to where you want to be? But don't discount yourself. Know that it's going to take time and consistency. And you're going to have to go to some meetings. You're going to have to go to some events that you don't want to go to. You're going to have to date some people. You don't even feel like going out on a date. You feel like just chilling. You know, you don't feel like putting on no clothes to go on a date or whatever. You don't want to do it again because you've been dating all these years. Or you're tired of this relationship. You don't want to do it anymore. But you have to do it. You have to try something else in your relationship to make it better stop this kind of yourself stop saying well this is all it's gonna be i'm not gonna have anything better you can have better you are awesome you're great you're made in god's image you have done amazing things in the past you've gotten awards you've um gone out and met some great people and got friends before you have um had jobs before you've had maybe a business before you looked good you know, before you dressed up one night, no matter what side you were, were one day you dressed up and you look nice. So do it again. There's somebody for everybody. Like you can have the person that you want if you apply yourself and that person matches what you um, are looking for and what you exude. You know what I mean? You have to give off some of that energy that that they like you have to know what they like you have to find out what they like and then you have to do it you know if it takes a year or two to lose weight if that's what they like then you have to lose weight if you want to if they need you to gain weight and it's healthy for you to gain weight if you're very small and need to gain weight then take a couple years and figure out how to do it or whatever but do it for yourself because you want to look better don't do it just because they want you to look better but i'm just saying that there's some things that they might you know if this person you want to date like Okay, um, maybe they don't want you to make a hundred thousand, but maybe you could get to fifty thousand. How? What does that look like? Does that look like going out on some interviews or taking a class to do better? What will you do to have the person, the house, the um, the person that you want to see in the mirror? Um, what to get that life that you want? What would you do to have? everything you want in life. It's going to take consistency and saying, you know what? No more. I'm not standing for what this is that I've got in my life. I want to go to the next level. What does that look like? What goals do you have to set? What classes do you have to take? What do you have to do? What training, <coughs> excuse me, do you have to do <coughs> to get there? Get there. Stop making excuses for why you can't do it, make an excuse for why you should do it. This is why I want to do it. I want to work out because it feels better. I like how it makes me look afterward. I like that after a month or two or three months or six months or whatever, I'm going to look awesome. <clears throat> I like it because I'm going to have more people <clears throat> around. I like going out to events because I'm going to have more people around me. I like going to events because it's going to help my career. I like going out because it helps me have more friends. 
I like getting out and doing things, whether it's by myself or with other people or whatever. I like getting out because it's going to help <clears throat> me do different things rather than to be stagnant and just stay in the house doing nothing or sitting on social media or whatever. I want to do something. Yes, I know in a black community, going to a nightclub is scary because of the shooting or whatever that might happen. There's other events. There's go on um, Eventbrite, Facebook, um, <coughs> the events on Facebook. Find out what's in your area that's going on. Um, there's your, you know, if you look up, um, I think it might be on Michigan.gov, I'm not sure, but tour, um, tour sites in your city. You, they will have events in your city, events in Michigan, events in Columbus or whatever, Detroit, whatever, wherever city you're from, New York or whatever. Um, just say events in those cities and then it'll pop up with some events that you can go to. So no more excuses sitting in a house and not doing what you should be doing. Get out and do something, be something. It, and you can't say like, I'm bored. I'm, I don't like my life or, you know, I'm uh, disabled or I'm you know, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm big, so I can't go out or I'm too small to go out. People don't like me. I have a, a bad attitude. They get it together. If you got a bad attitude, it be quiet. If you got an, a bad attitude, look around and listen for a minute before you open your mouth and then watch how you say it. It's not what you say. It's how you say it. If you say it rude and ignorant, people going to walk away. People going to walk away. People gonna be like, I can't do this today. <laughs> I can't do this today. But you know what I'm saying? If you if you watch how you say it, like if you if you said, I really don't like that outfit on you, it don't look right, you know what I'm saying? Versus you said, Oh, you look nice today. I really like your outfit. I probably would have like, you know, um put a little pen in here, cut clothes this up a little bit, but it look good on you, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I love it. You know, can I borrow your dress? That that looks th that sounds better than girl. Why you wear that to this event? Your chest all out. You know. So watch how you say things. You know what I'm saying? Watch how you say it because you could turn somebody off real quick. All right. So hard times don't last. You can do it. Be consistent. The, the word for today is consistency equals results. All right. Love you guys. This is Lonnie Latte. Please like and share this video. Like and share this video. Let me sing for you. Like and share this video. And I can sing Doro, Dore Me Lots of... <clears throat> I can't even say it. Dore Me Faso Latito backwards. Dore Me Faso Latito. Tote Lasso Fa Mi Re Do. Yeah, yeah. You can do it. All right, like and share this video. Go to my website, www.lonnylatte.com and get my comedy audio. I need to sell at least five this week. Get some.